Meet financier Katie. Her love life has been one long run of bad investments. I just go for the wrong guys. I've had loads of my friends saying, you've got really bad taste in men. I do tend to go for charmers that know they're good looking and maybe kind of know how to play the game. This is a very nice list, I have to say. You like? Oh, you have a woo-woo. I do. Do you want one? I love woo-woos. No, I haven't had many terrible dates, but I've had some terrible things said to me. Had one guy who said, you're really attractive, but I just don't like your personality. I was like, oh my God. I'm so excited for this. It looks so good. It's such a fancy glass. I know. I don't know where all the nice guys are. Nice. I love the hotel and everything. It's lovely. Top drawer, yeah. So, yeah. so nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, what age are you? Uh, 29. So I am 25. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have a lot of friends who are about your age, though, now, and they're all like having babies and getting married and everything. It's just I have like, a lot oh, of friends stop. my age as well who are getting married, having babies. A lot of people that I know are now kind of like, you know, when are you getting engaged? It's like, um, when I find a man. I was with a girl for 11 years. Oh, yeah. <gasps> wow. yeah, from 16 to like 27. Yeah. And you kind of half plan in your head that this, you know, this is a girl that you're going to marry and stuff like that. Yeah. But then, kind of just, we, we just grew apart, it wasn't. It was yeah. a case, it was a, it was a mutual thing, 110%. I don't know, it's kind of like insane as that putting a lot of pressure on yourself if you have these plans and is it kind of forcing something to happen that maybe 100%. won't work out? Like, look at poor Cheryl Cole. Every relationship has its ups and downs. You know, it's a relationship. <laughs> I don't think I've been properly in love yet. Do you play any sports around? Box, yeah. Box, very good. Yeah. But you have like, you know, that that the head guard? shield thing. They yeah, have? when yeah. we're training, we would use head guards, but we don't when we're fighting. Then I dislocated no, this like finger when I was playing ga. Oh, Back no, in school, I... now I've got a weird finger. <laughs> it's horrible, Person. isn't it? I got Person. kicked in the hand, and I remember I was like. Ow! And then I just <laughs> left it going, and then it just kind of blew up. Yeah. And did you play on? I like, I played in school, like, No, you know. as in, did you play on that game? Oh, um, God, that's a good question, did I? I'd like somebody who's a bit of a lady in the sense that she can get dolled up and she can go out and have a great night with the girls, but at the same time, might come to a Munster match or something like that and will slag me about Leinster beating Munster. A huge rugby fan. So, um... Yeah, I, I do. I kind of watch the rugby as well. Like, oh, I yeah? don't even know if I can say I follow it, as I tend <laughs> to kind of watch and I'm like, I know him and I know him and yeah. I don't know anyone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'd love to go to a rugby match at some stage. You haven't gone to a rugby game, no? I've never gone. No, no one uh... has ever taken me. No, no one uh... will ever take me. No, change on it, obviously. <laughs> Someone has to take me, <laughs> yeah. so please, it has yeah, to happen yeah, at some absolutely. stage. Yeah, absolutely. But Munster, Leinster game would be good because I'd be a Munster supporter anyway. Or... Oh, Munster supporter. <laughs> yeah. See, this is the con... We could have a serious oh. conflict here now. <laughs> Sorry, I might not be a massive fan, but Leinster all the way now. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.